Welcome to another decluttering video. So I think my last decluttering video was over my closet. So I will link that video in a card above. So I know it's a few weeks later, but today we're going to do the second half of that. So I said in that video that I wanted to go through all of my drawers. So that is what we are doing today. They really need to be cleaned out. And I like to do this once a year and I haven't done it this year. And I keep saying I need to look through my drawers. I need to look through my drawers. And I finally said, stop everything. And that is what I've got to do today. So we're going to go through all of my drawers and we're going to get them all cleaned out, reorganized and ready to go for back to school. So this is one of my dressers. This is a lingerie dresser. I'm not exactly sure what they call it, and I don't know if they still have it. It is from Ikea. It is part of the Hems, I think, H-E-M-N-E-S collection. And I want to say it was on sale when I got it. I don't know if it's been discontinued or not. If it hasn't been discontinued, I will link it. We got this, I want to say, in 2019. So this is where I keep panties and brawls, socks, and all of that. So this one is going to be majorly cleaned out. And then over here, and y'all, it's dusty. I need to dust too. Since I'm going through all the drawers, I need to dust as well. And then this is my second piece here. This is the larger hems dresser from Ikea and it may not look very big on this camera but it's pretty large. Let me scoot back and don't mind the clothes keeping it real so I'm going to actually do all of that in this video. Those are my clothes. I haven't put my clothes up yet and those are my husband's so I don't touch his stuff. So that's his. He can do with it as he pleases. So that is my dresser. It is pretty large. I don't know if you can tell from the camera and that over there so these two pieces are from the same collection so these are what we are going to go through first so how do we want to do this so okay I guess we're going to start with the smallest first so the top drawer here and some things I may not get rid of anything at all but I do want to share them with you and like right now I open this drawer and I'm going oh I've got some bras I need to put in there from the laundry room so I'm going to pull everything out I'm going to clean it out and I'm going to share with you what bras I have I'm going to share everything with you all right so I went ahead and got the drawer cleaned out I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to use on each one I'm not going to film that part I am using this Lysol all-purpose cleaner and a microfiber cloth that is what I'm using to clean each drawer. So this one's clean. This drawer came with this lining. So it's a white and gray lining. And I love that, that it's not this wood on the side. So that drawer is cleaned out. And this is what's going in here. So everything's going to go back. Y'all, I've had some of these bras for a very long time. I have this one only for if I'm traveling and I don't want to walk around in my pajamas without a bra on. You know what I'm saying? I take this. Um, this is my Under Armour sports bra that needs to be, somehow it's got some deodorant stains on it. Under Armour sports bra. I hate this. This, I need, I need a strapless bra. I don't wear them very often, but this one is horrible. It makes me look like I have no boobs at all. Or my boobs are at my stomach. Keeping it real. So I need a new one. I can't, I, I can't even remember where I got this. Target maybe? Yep, Target. So, if you have a recommendation for a strapless bra, let me know. So, that's going to go back in there until I get another one. It's got little straps, too. And this is the only bra that I wear for every day. I get these every single year during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I just ordered one the other day. This is the best bra. These are the Notori bras. I think it's Notori Dream, something like that. I will link them. So, I have four of those. I have one on. I have this one. This one. And y'all, these are, I wear these all the time. And they still look great. They're in perfect condition. That's my second one. Except that's got deodorant stains on it. And then this one. And I can't remember what color I ordered. And then I have one. So, I've got four and I just ordered a new one. So, I've talked about these several times in videos love them so i'm not decluttering any bras those are all going to go back in that drawer okay so that is that that's what that drawer looks like there moving to the second drawer the second drawer is a hot mess i'm just going to be honest sometimes a lot of times y'all when i'm doing laundry i don't even fold stuff look this is my tank top drawer 
and I have all sorts of tank tops in here. I'm probably not getting rid of anything. Well, some of these, here's the thing. Like, I wear white tank tops under every single thing. I won't get rid of them until I get new ones. So, I need to get new ones for back to school. So, I'm just going to pull all of this out. I doubt I'm getting rid of anything because it's my everyday tanks. Or, you know what? I'm not even going to go to this drawer because I know I'm not getting rid of anything. And I will sort it and everything once I get my new tanks. So, and these are my beach tanks. Like you saw this one. If you haven't seen my beach vacation vlog, I will link it in a card above. So, y'all, this does not bother me that this is not all folded. It doesn't bother me at all. Now, my mom, if she was to see this drawer, she would have a fit. But it's okay. Down here, panties. Panties, panties. And I, I think I've gotten rid of all of the ones that I don't wear. So, um, these are my new ones I'm trying. So, I'm going to share this with you. So, this part of the video, this is what I'm sharing. I'm going to share my new panties. Why not? And then everything else in there I wear. And once again, here's the thing. I don't organize my panty drawer. I just throw them in there because I think it's pointless. So, panties. I used to wear the Victoria's Secret panties. And they suck. I don't even know if they still sell them anymore. I'm not really sure. But, so I purchased some, I was purchasing some Old Navy leggings. I will share all that in just a minute. And I thought, you know what, why don't I try some of the Old Navy panties? So, I can't remember how many I got and the price I paid. I got a size medium. I think these were the bikinis. It doesn't say. I think it's the bikinis. But I got navy. I got, um... I think that's pill pink, gray, camo, leopard, and then this print here. So I'll let you know once I wear them and see. But those are going to go in there. And then I got some from American Eagle that look pretty similar to these. So let's get these out and see. And y'all, I here's the thing. I can't stand it when I find a panty that I like. And then it's hard to find. So I found some at American Eagle that I loved. Let me put this camera down. Here's the thing. I found panties that I really loved. Like these right here. These are the, I think they're the Boy Brief or something like that. It's, I thought it said Boy Brief. Yes, these right here. I love these, but they're hard to find. And then they didn't have them. I had to get, I wanted to get 10 for 30. And they didn't have, I got two. I mean, if that proves to you, look, there's two of the same ones in here. Because they did not have a, lar a large selection. Then this one is that as well. They, I got two of these. This is blue. I don't know if you can tell. I got two of those. And then I got a bunch of, okay, I'm just going to try these out. I don't know. I wear a size medium. And then I don't know about this band. But, so I went to the outlet, the American Eagle at an outlet, a tanker outlet. So, they only had, you know, a small selection. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the band. I don't know if it's, sometimes when you get this stuff, it folds up. I guess we'll see. And, this pair, that's light blue. And then, I got this sheer panty. We're, we're going to see. We're going to see. Okay, so all of those are in there. That's good. Now, this is the drawer that's going to be the major, major issue. My sock drawer. So, all of this is coming out, and I'm getting rid of probably half of the Disney socks. Because some of them I've had forever, and they just probably two or three years. And after two or three years, it's probably time to get rid of some. Okay, so I wiped the drawer out, and I know you can't see me. You can just see the socks, but it'll be okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull out all of these socks. So I told y'all, I don't know how many times, that the only socks that I wear are the Zella No-Show socks. Well, let me tell you, I'm very upset. I ordered some Adidas socks from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale to see if I like them as well as these. These were not on sale during the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, or they're not. Very disappointed. So they're three for... 25 but normally every single year during the Nordstrom anniversary sale they will mark them down to 15. This year they did not do that. They had some other one that wasn't even rated very good for the sale. So I was not happy. So um, 
another blogger that I followed likes the Adidas ones. I will link those. So I got, and they were actually a lot cheaper. You could get, um, was it five pair for 20 during the sale, I think? I will link them in the description below. I got a black set and a white set. Okay, so I have my so I have my pile of Zella socks here. So all of these are going to go back in the drawer. And I have a combination of gray. I've got um, white with the detailing. I have plain white and I have black. And y'all, I wear these like in the winter. These are the only socks that I wear. And they still look perfect. Now some of them are stained up a little bit. Like that one's not as bright as it should be, but they're still, I haven't had any issues in having to throw any of them away. So with this pile here, I love to get the Disney um, advent calendar socks, but here's the thing. Last year they did not have it. Well, they had it, but they were only the ankle socks. I don't like the ankle socks. So um, most of these are two plus years old. Now, my sister did go through one of the Target Advent calendars that she got. This one's one of those. And she gave me the socks that she did not want. So, I do have some of those in here as well. So, I can already see like three or four sets that I want to get rid of. So, we're going to go through here and do that. And I'm hoping that this dwindles down a lot. So, I know I want to keep this set here. And I probably need to pull my bucket over here too. And, um from that this one I'm getting rid of it is it's seen its better days so that's going um, this one is a new one that my sister gave me if I can find the match y'all sometimes I wear socks that don't match these are new that's one she gave me I'm gonna keep that one I gotta find this other stripe for this oh I'm getting rid of these these are pretty yeah Old two. I haven't even worn these yet because they were at the bottom of the drawer. So I'm going to keep those. Okay, I would say that was pretty successful. And then that came from a kit. I need to open that. So I'm keeping these and I'm getting rid of those. So I've gotten half of them. I've taken half out. So this half is going back in the drawer. Now this bottom drawer here, I'm not going to go through it because you guys... I know it looks like a hot mess, but it's all of my bathing suits. And if you've been here for any length of time, if you watched my beach vlog last year, if you watched my vlog from this year from the beach, I'll put both of those in the cards above. There's several different pieces that go to my swimming suit. So that's why you see so many things in here. Up until this year, I wore tankinis. So there's tankini, uh, tankinis in here and then shorts that go with them. But then I realized that I have this really bad sun allergy. So I have swim leggings in here. I have rash guards in here. I've got bikini tops in here. So I don't really reach in this drawer very often. So I don't really care what it looks like. So I'm going to leave that one be. And now we're moving over here. And then I'm going to put all of that up at the end of this video. So this is what we're going to tackle next. So oh, this is this is going to be an undertaking. This top drawer here. Yeah. I'm going to take all that out. These are my hats and things. So we're going to go through these two drawers first. And probably we'll start with this. Because let me be honest. This I'm just going to pull it out and share with you what's in here. And then put it back in here. And clean just clean it out because I'm keeping everything in here. These are all of my good winter hats and um, gloves. Okay, so I need to put these socks over there. Okay, so most of these are Love Your Melon. So Love Your Melon donates. When you purchase, they donate a cap to a child with cancer. And I know it's a legit company. They are a little bit pricey, but they are legit because my cousin's daughter is going through chemo treatments and she's received one. So this first one here that I have is probably my favorite one. I got it, was it last year that I got this? I think it was. It is the Pixar, look at the little... Pixar Up collaboration. I love it, you guys. Y'all know I'm a huge Up fan, and when I saw this, I immediately had to have it, even though it was a little bit pricey. So that one is one. 
The second one I have, I think this one I got when they were having a, they had a 50% off sale. I think it was after Thanksgiving last year and they all come in these cute little nice bags. And I got this one. This was, I think, an acrylic. Every, they had about eight colors with different characters and the navy was the Mickey. So I got the Mickey in that. And y'all, I do wear these when it gets cold. Sometimes it doesn't get cold very often. Okay, this was my first Love Your Melon winter hat that I got two years ago, and it is a slouchy beanie. And it's got like, it's cream and brown and black. Now, the next two I got from Pretty Little Monograms. Y'all know I love Pretty Little Monograms. So, this one, I think I got two years ago. That one, and then I have a gray one. Now, this came from Hap... Uh, I don't happily ever tease or something. I think that she's even changed what she sells now. But I got this one, I want to say, three years ago. And then I have two sets of gloves. I have this pair of North Face gloves that I've had for, I can't even remember, 10 years. Still look brand new. And then for Christmas last year, I asked my sister to get me the North Face gloves that you can use with your phone. And you know what? I remember, I think my mother-in-law wanted a pair of these. Be a good Christmas present. So, I haven't used them yet because I just got them for Christmas and y'all didn't get real, real cold for me to go anywhere after Christmas. So, it's got this little sticky stuff on the inside so that you can use your cell phone. So, I love these. So, that is all going back in the drawer, all of my hats and my gloves. Okay, I'm hoping you can't hear that fan real bad. We've got a fan on in the bathroom. It's kind of hot in here. Our room is the farthest back in the house. And it gets really hot in here. So this is next. Oh, y'all, this drawer. I don't even know. We're just going to take everything out. We're going to look. We're going to see. And we're going to possibly put it back in here. We will see. I got that cleaned out and pulled everything out here. So, y'all, this is what I keep my jewelry and things in. And I say jewelry. Y'all, I'm really not big into wearing it. So I have a variety of things in here. This is a Sterilite... Oh, divided little thing. I don't know what they call it. I got it from Target. I don't even know if it's still available anymore, but these little sections come out. So I have all of my Apple Watch bands over here. I also have uh, Magic Bands over here. That's Nathan's. A variety of things over here. And then here's some cases. Like I still have the cases to some of these things. I don't think I really need them. I'm, I mean, I'm not getting rid of them. So, I guess I could throw this away. Let me make sure I have that in here. There's the... Yes, I have that in there. So, that can be pitched. This one... Well, where's the other part of this? Oh, is this it? Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to get that the other section out, though. Because there's a longer strap. So, I need to get everything out of this. And then I get rid of these. I bought this to punch holes in my... I did this to one of them. And then I was like, I don't like it. So, I got this watch band here, and I punched a hole, or I thought I did. I know I did. The very top, I think. Somewhere I punched a hole. Is it here? Okay, I don't see it. I punched a hole in one of these. I don't, Lord, I don't know. Um, oh, it is, it's the very top one. It matches. I didn't realize it matched. The very top hole there, I used this contraption here to punch that hole for my band buttons. So, um, that's going to go in there. I haven't done that since, but I do want to keep that. So, we're going to keep that. And get all of this. This is my watch box. I'm going to keep it. This is a Pandora thing. I've got pop sockets. I mean, look, pop sockets. These Pandora things need to go in here. Those Pandora boxes. This is my... I bought this, but I'm using a Rifle Paper Company thing right now. So, y'all, this can go in there. So, I'm just going to go through and kind of organize all this and then get it ready to go back in that drawer. So, these are my Get It Creations covers, phone covers. I have one on right now. Where is it? And I've... I don't even, oh, there's my phone. 
and I've talked about this in videos so I will leave my favorite things videos where I've talked about the get it creations and the love handle so this is one of my get it creations covers and I will tell you that this does work I actually and I've got tempered glass on the front I was on vacation and I dropped this in the bathroom with this one on it this one on it I was like my mom was in the bathroom with me I was like I know I just shattered my phone nope did not shatter it at all and it fell face first like this you could hear it pop and crack the case and the tempered glass saved my phone so these are amazing cases so i have four right now i've got the up one and this is a love handle and it works perfect i've been using this one here i've got this one for christmas let me zoom in there we go got this one for christmas and i just purchased this one for halloween so that has made favorite things so it has a love handle and i'll mention that so i'm just going to go through here get all this organized and put it back in the drawer and share the drawer with you okay so i got all of these put back in here and y'all i'm just keeping this i think this one is too big i got my athletic wedding bands off of amazon it was a set of five if i can find it i will link it and that's my last one i'm only keeping it for that card because i need they get stretched out after a while so i did go through and i got all of my apple watch bands put in here y'all i don't need the cases it's just taking up space and y'all this is just i don't reach for this very often these are band buttons earrings that i absolutely never wear old jewelry um squeeze this in here squeeze that on the top and y'all have a Vera Bradley jewelry thing I just don't want to use it yet and you might wonder about this this is I love Jared Mariama he's one of my favorite Disney designers and he came out with this I don't know if I'm going to use it for December or if I'm just going to save it to collect it and he came out with this and I loved it I got all of this kingdom of cute stuff when it came out in the spring so yeah I have it in there I don't know if I'm gonna use it for December or not but I did purchase it so all of this is going back in that drawer and that looks so much better so all that's in here now is this little container I've got my um, phone cases that little band button contraption thing my Apple watch box and my magic band so that looks so much better and it can close a lot easier so this second drawer here I'm not gonna go through it because we've already done this in a video so if you've not seen my video where I went through all of my small pouches and it, it does really look like a mess right now I'm getting here and go through it so I did share this in a video so I will link it where we went through all of my bags and we did some decluttering with all of the small things so I will link that video in a card above so we're not gonna do anything else with that drawer it's already been cleaned and everything third drawer down here so this third drawer here does need some attention so I do need to pull everything out and this is probably at the point that I am going to start cleaning this bucket out here because I do have some sleeping shirts here this is my sleeping top drawer so I do need to pull this out and get this all ready to put back in here I've got all of this stuff ready to go in the drawer so I did get rid of these things over here y'all these pants I thought were gonna be fantastic from Old Navy just to kind of bum around the house in and then look what happened these joggers and I have a pair of gray ones that's gonna be in the next drawer we're gonna go through they do nothing but collect lint that is all they do look at that 
So I'm getting rid of those. I'm getting rid of my beach hat. <laughs> Nathan finally said, I think it's the last year for that hat, Kristen. It's just, I've worn it for like five years. It's been through salt water and washed and it just doesn't look good. And then I've got some t-shirts. So all of that I'm getting rid of, all of this I'm getting rid of. And then this stuff, y'all, I'm still waiting to see if somebody has socks to this. And y'all, these, I mean, really, am I gonna put these back in these shirts? Probably not, unless they're ones that I actually wear out. So I'm probably just gonna put them back in the drawer because I don't know at the moment. I don't wanna get rid of them and then be like, oh, I needed those. This is my onesie. My onesie is going to go in there. It is a deer, kinda cute. Okay, that's gonna go in there. I've got a set of sweatshirts that are gonna go in there and then these t-shirts. So that will be all for that drawer. So I'm gonna put that lot in there and then share that with you. I had no idea that I was gonna have this much room in this drawer, so this is really good. So if you notice, look at all that space here and all of it over here. Now all of that's gonna be filled. So these are not just my sleeping shirts. I've actually got one on right now and there's several in the dirty clothes and in the washing machine. So I've got enough space here that I could do the rest of those shirts. Then all of this space here is going to be for my remaining sweatshirts. So y'all, I do wear a sweatshirt almost every single night to sleep in. So I do have a pile of those that'll probably go right there. And there is my onesie. So I've got three here. And then basically if I have a sweatshirt, this is how it works. If I have a sweatshirt that I don't want to wear out and about anymore, it gets moved to my sleeping sweatshirts. Same thing with t-shirts. Any t-shirts that I don't wanna wear or they get stained, they get moved in here as sleeping shirts. So y'all, I don't have a beautiful pajama collection. This is it. T-shirt, old t-shirts, old sweatshirts, and then leggings that you're gonna see in the next drawer. So that is that drawer. Now the last two drawers are bottom. So this fourth drawer here, these are all of my, well, I would say all of my bummy shorts. I don't know. I might need to pull everything out of both drawers here because here's the thing. My pajama pants are in here. I've got leggings in here. I would love to see if some of this would fit in the bottom. So I might pull everything out. So I'm gonna go through everything right now, pull everything out, and then I will share everything going through and how it looks at the end. So this is supposed to be my pajama pants and shorts. Y'all, I barely wear shorts, but I do have a section of those. And then down here are my joggers and leggings. So basically those were supposed to go down here. These leggings up here, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna go through them. So I'll go through this drawer first and then we'll get to this drawer because it does look like they're separated. So let's do this one first. So I'm gonna pull everything out, share it with you, clean it and put everything back in. So I've got everything laid out in the bed that was in that next to last drawer over there, all of my shorts and then just my casual sleeping pants and all of that. So I wanna sit this down, share everything with you. I think that goes in the, you know what? I don't even wear these. I think these are Old Navy. No, they're Zilla. Oh, those are the wrong ones. Those go in the bottom drawer. See, those don't even go in here. Okay, so I'm going to sit this down. Okay, so we're going to talk about each thing. So these are the gray pants, like I told you earlier, with the black ones. I'm getting rid of these. They just collect nothing but lint and hair. I'm getting rid of these. These are Under Armour pants that I've probably had for 10, 12 years. They've got paint all over them. They are way too big. I trip over them when I wear them. So I'm getting rid of those. Um, now to the shorts. I do have athletic shorts. I do wear these. And y'all, there's not, they're just under armor. I've got these from the outlet. I've got that pair. These are my favorite and I cannot find these anymore. I need to take them and look them up and see. I love these. And I have this pair with the pink band. And then last but not least, I have a red pair. I probably should have gotten a large in those, even though my husband says they fit. Okay, so I'm gonna put all of those back in the drawer and then we'll go to the denim shorts. I don't like things, I don't like things tight. So that's why I say he says something fits and I don't. Okay, these, I just have three pairs of shorts, y'all. I don't wear them very often. 
These are American Eagle. I've probably had these for four years. Now, I really do like these when I do wear shorts. Um, the Blank NYC, I got these from Nordstrom. I have two pairs of these. I just don't wear shorts very often, especially with my sun allergy and things. I just, I just don't. And those. So those are the only pairs of shorts that I own. I own three pairs of denim shorts. That's it. Next, we're going to my pajama pants. My pajama pants are these, and I just ordered these. These are the, if it'll zoom in. Come on. Okay. These are the mid-rise leggings from Old Navy. I have wore these, I don't even, I can't even remember, four or five years now, and I always rotate them out, and y'all, mine were so bad. <laughs> they had holes in them and paint, and it was time to get some new ones. So, about two, three weeks ago, I was on the Old Navy website. It was like the week before 4th of July. And they had these marked down to like $5. And then you got 25% off of it, I think. I paid $3.75. So, I bought seven pair. So, this is... And I got two different ones. So, these two... I think I've gotten rid of all of my old ones. The old ones had tears in it. Y'all, I did not know that you could have leggings that ran. But I had a pair that ran. So, I'm going to take all of these all out of the packaging and we're just gonna fold them up and put them in the drawer y'all i wear these every day to sleep in it does not matter if it's summer or winter i will wear these and i always just get black i don't know why i just do okay and some of these are still oh no there's another one. Oh, so i did get a high rise i got a few high rise and i got a few mid rise and I want to say I got seven pair. No joke, seven pair. Because they were $3.75. And they have never been that cheap. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to get these put in that drawer. And then one other pair. I did get a pair of these from... They are the like Amazon pants. You know, it's supposed to make you look like you got a butt lift. Yeah. My husband got me a pair. <laughs> so... I mean, and they do. If you want a butt lift, it does work. So, I'll wear these around the house as well. So, those and these are going to go in the drawer. And then last but not least, we have just casual pants here. These were my pants from last Christmas. They are super soft. So, we did matching pajamas last year for Christmas. These came from Target. Then I've got two pair from Old Navy. Y'all, this still has the tag on it. I'm going to keep them just in case. I'm going to keep them just in case. So, black and white plaid. And I can't remember when I got these. So, I don't know if... Now, these were a part of our family pajamas two years ago. Or three years ago. Okay, so I got those. And then I have these. My sister-in-law got me a few years ago. And I keep forgetting I have them. These are, what was that brand that used to be popular? Lulu. Lularo. 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 I think that was the name. Yes. So she got me those. I keep forgetting I have them. I need to put those with the leggings. So I remember to wear them. And then I just got these not too long ago from Walmart. Look, they're a Golden Girls pajama pants. So how cute are those? I'm gonna take those out of the packaging so I'll wear those as well. I forget I have them. And you know what? Those would be a great present for my mother-in-law for Christmas. Me and her are huge Golden Girls fans. So I bet she would love those. I have to see if they still have them and get her a pair. So all of that is gonna go in that drawer and I think that's it for this drawer. So much better. Everything is stacked and organized. So I've got my leggings, my sleep leggings, my just casual everyday pajama, around the house pants, athletic shorts, and denim shorts. So that is all for that drawer. And now the bottom drawer, I'm gonna warn you, I have become into, or I really like joggers. They, are, they have become my thing lately. So this is joggers and leggings. Leggings that I wear out and about. So I don't even know if I'm gonna keep them all, but we're gonna see. So we're gonna pull all of this out and look through everything and get it reorganized so you can actually tell what's in the drawer. 
I will be honest, I did not know I had all of these. <laughs> I really did not know I had every single one of these in there. So especially like the leggings over here. Okay, so we're just gonna go through these and just check out and see what I've got. So I'm gonna put this down. We're gonna talk about it. I can tell you, I think those are Old Navy active leggings and I'm getting rid of those. Or I'm getting rid of those, I guess you'd say. I don't think I said that right. Okay, so leggings. These are my Zella leggings. I definitely want to keep those. I have no idea how those got in that top drawer. Okay, so leggings first. So I'm keeping these. Okay, these I'm getting rid of. These are Old Navy active leggings, and I've probably had these for three or four years, and I never wear them because I don't like them. I don't like the stomach area. So I'm going to get rid of those. Okay, these shoe leggings, I'm actually keeping these for um, my costume for Halloween. We we're taking the kids to the Boo Bash at Walt Disney World, and I have a Kevin costume I made. So these are going to be my bottoms. They're brown. Um, what are these? These Zella. Yes, these are Zella, so I'm going to keep those. Zella are my favorite leggings. Okay, these here. Okay, I'm going to keep these because I think I, these are Old Navy active leggings, but I think I keep these for when it's cold outside. Okay, so I'm gonna keep those at the bottom. And then I should have a pair of Under Armour. Yes. These are what? These are Zella. Okay, these are Zella crop leggings, so I'm keeping those. I told y'all, here's another pair of Zella leggings that I haven't even wore yet. That's, that's sad. Okay, and these are, oh yes, I'm definitely, this is a pair I don't like. I may actually keep these. I got these confused. So I'm going to keep these old navy ones. These are the ones I do not like. Look at the waistband of these. So it's meant to like fold over I just, and it does nothing but roll down. So these I'm getting rid of. And I think I have a pair of cropped ones that are like this too. I can find them. Joggers, 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 joggers. Here. No, those are not it. Okay. Evidently, I got rid of them already. Okay. Last pair. Or is that it? Oh, nope. Here they are. See? I don't like these either. These, I don't think. Or did I know I even had these? I don't think I like these. I'm getting rid of these. If I've got them in there and I have more, I'm getting rid of them. Were those... And I think these are a pair of, are these another pair of the Zella? No, these are champion leggings. Okay, see, I didn't even realize I had some of this stuff because I've been crammed in the bottom of that drawer. Okay, so there are all my leggings except for these. Now, these are Under Armour thermal leggings. When it gets extremely cold outside and I have to wear several layers, I will wear these. I don't know if the, I've had them for probably eight years, probably. And I don't know the name of them. They probably don't even sell them anymore if I've had them that long. So that is really the only reason I keep them because I will pull them out when it gets extremely cold. Okay, so those are my leggings. Ooh, that didn't work well. Okay, so those are my leggings. So I'm going to put all of those in there. Okay, much better. I had to switch my battery. It was dying. Okay, so I'm just going to hold the camera and go through some of these. Okay, these are new from last year. I guess I've had them since last year. They're not new. I forgot I had them, to be honest. These are Carrie Underwood's brand, Kalia. And they were on sale. I don't even know which style they are. But I have two pair of hers. I have this pair and I had a pair I actually wore to a rehearsal dinner. These are it, I think. Yes, these were so comfortable. And let me tell you, these are... I got this idea from a picture that she shared on Instagram. I will insert the picture. It's like, I've got to have those pants. Those are the cutest pants that she has on. And I immediately went to her picture, clicked on it, and ordered the pants. These are adorable on. They are a little bit wrinkled right now. But I will insert that picture. And I don't think they're, I don't know if they're available anymore or not. If they are, I will link them. But they are so cute. And I wore them to a rehearsal dinner. And you couldn't see the little logo in the back. You couldn't even see it. Next two pair 
our brand that I've heard so much about from the past year and I decided to try them. Some people in my community said that they were really good. They were worth the price. The Zaya leggings, leggings, not leggings, joggers. They do have leggings, but these are joggers. These are the black peak zipper jogger, and I did try them when I just got them, and they felt amazing. So I got this, and I got, oh, I got the same ones in gray, but these are the longer length. So these are the gray peak joggers in, like they're, what are they, like 30 inch? I don't see the tag. Oh, there it is. Okay. These are the long 31 inch in gray and then the black is I think like a 26 inch. I got a medium in both. So those, hopefully they're going to be good. We're going to see. So those are going to go in there. Then I got a few from Eddie Bauer. Got the, these are still available. I saw these at the outlet. Um, I bet they don't have the name on them. Nope. So I got one, I got three, I think. These are the same ones, they're just different colors. So this one is gray. So I've got the gray. And this is a thicker material, but I actually like these better than the other ones. And these run true to size. I'm a size eight, and that's what I got in these and this pair here. So I'm gonna get all of these put in there and then I'll get to my last set. Now these look wrinkly, but once you get them laid out, they're really not wrinkly. And if they are, I'll use some kind of wrinkle releaser on them. These are actually from Walmart. I got these like January of 2020. My sister-in-law wore some of these on our Disney vacation. I loved them so much. I came back and I ordered three pair. I got a gray pair and they were $14.99. I don't know if they still have them. So I got that one and then I got two in the black. Super comfy. So here's a black and here's a black. And y'all, they're not, I mean, they look wrinkly right now, but I would not wear them like that. I would get all the wrinkles out before I wore them. So all three of those came from Walmart, size medium. They are the Athletic Works brand. I've got two more sets and then I'm done. So the next one here, they are from Target. They are the Champion Joggers. Now I have two and you're probably like, once again, you have something with a tag on it because I have two. Like I wore these on vacation and they were so comfortable. Highly recommend these. And then I bought a second pair because I liked them so much. So this is the Champion brand. They fit true to size. I am a size medium normally in bottoms and that's what I got in these. And then last but not least, I love the Figs Scrubs. I've talked about this before, and I just went out on a limb, and I got these pink ones. They were at limited edition. I just, these just came in not too long ago, so I haven't wore the pink ones yet. I immediately put them in my cart, ordered them, and this color was sold out. So it was a limited edition one, so I am a size medium, and that's what I got in these. And I've already wore these several times. The black pair, I love these. And I will tell you, every time I wear them, I have people ask me what pants I have on. And they're seriously scrubs. So I like them. I did get a discount on them. I think they had a coupon code that day. So fantastic. So I think my link in the description will be a referral link. I think I might get like a little coupon if you purchase. I'm not really sure. But I just wanted to mention that. So those are my joggers and my leggings. So I'm going to get all of these put in that drawer and then I'm going to share that drawer with you and everything else. Okay, so that looks so much better. And as you can tell, I usually buy black and everything. That's usually the only color I get because, or gray, because those are the colors that I wear in everything. They match everything. So those are my joggers and leggings. Oh Lord, I got caught. There we go. Okay. So that is all for my dresser drawer declutter. So I'm going to go back through and share everything with you, even the ones we didn't go through. So there's my bras, my tank tops. Remember, I'm not going to go through those until I get new ones. Panties, I did throw a few pair in there that were in the wash, that were in that tub. Socks, 
And we didn't go through that. That's swimming stuff. Then over here, we've got all of my jewelry and tech stuff. Got my, oh Lord, stuck. Probably need to put this on top. There we go, so it'll stay down. Okay, we've got my gloves and my winter hats. We didn't go through this. I'm linking that video on a card above if you wanna see all of that. Um, my pajama tops, short sleeve t-shirts, long sleeve sweatshirts, and then I've got a onesie in there. These are my casual pants. Those are my sleep leggings, just my casual pants, my shorts, and athletic shorts. And then my joggers and my leggings. So that feels good to have all of that taken care of and organized before school starts. And then I have one bag of donation. And here's the thing. I didn't get rid of a lot, but it makes me feel really good that I didn't get rid of a lot because that means I'm using everything. And I'm not just buying stuff to buy it. So that feels fantastic. I have all that stuff gone through, especially the socks. The socks were ridiculous. Another decluttering project done for 2021. And I know this was a simple one, but I just like to go through my drawers at least once a year and get rid of some things. And it felt good to know that there wasn't a whole lot that I wasn't using. So I got a one bag and it feels good to have all of that taken care of. Now, the common question for today is, I wanna know how you organize your pants. So I know as I'm going through there and I'm folding and I'm putting my joggers in the drawer, I was like, how do other people organize these? Do they put them in the drawers? Do they hang them up in their closet? Because you saw my jeans are in my closet. So I have my jeans in my closet and my joggers in the drawer down here. So I wanna know how you organize pants. Do you hang them? Do you put them in a drawer? Do you just wad them up? How do you organize your pants? Let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So that is all for this video. I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.